out of a out of AC professor arrested for Facebook post on right to eat beef. This is out of New Delhi, India. G. Uh, Tri Hansda, a professor at the government school of college for women. Um, in Jharkhand was arrested on Saturday. A lawyer from the team handling Hans Duh's case told Huffington Post that the complaint was filed against him June 17th, June 2017, based on Facebook posts that he had written. The lawyer suspected the arrest was made after the elections were over so that the BJP did not anger the Adivasis and lose their votes before the polls. Hansda and the prominent uh, AWC activists and our theater artists in his fa Facebook post asserted his community's right to eat beef. The post also said that they oppose India's law on eating beef and that his community also consumes peacocks, the country's national bird. He also expressed his unwillingness to, un to follow Hindu customs. Wait, so he just made a Facebook post says he's against the law. Wait, is India has a law against eating beef? India? Uh, no, what is it? Okay, so what was the Facebook post about? There's, uh, no, the there's no law like that. We're going. You can't eat beef in India. No, so what Sorry. was his, what is the law that he's suggesting that he's against? I don't understand. So on his Facebook post, he's asserted that his community has the right to eat beef. Yeah, but everybody in India has a right to eat beef. So what's this complaining about? Uh, they said they oppose India's laws on eating beef and that his community also consumes peacocks, which is the country's national bird. Are you sure people in India are allowed to eat beef? Well, they're allowed by the law, but they're just, they're not allowed, like, the pushback is not from the government. The pushback is from the Hindu mob. Am I right, Sobham? Where's Subham where we need? Where's Subham? <laughs> Subham is a... up, Subham. <laughs> okay, let me actually see. Uh, so what was the Facebook post that he got arrested for? What does the Facebook post say? Specifically, just that. That's the summary of his Facebook post. Which is? That his community has the right to eat beef and that they also eat uh, peacocks. Okay, I, okay. That's, the peacock part is very weird. And, and that he's random. unwilling to follow Hindu customs. Customs, not laws. Okay, first of all, there's so many question marks here, I don't even know where to start. He says, we have the right to eat beef. Well, yes, you do. That's, I think uh, in India, there's no law against eating beef. That's just a mob. Let me see. Sopam is commenting. Many, Sopam is saying many states have laws against cow slaughter, not against eating beef. Yeah, exactly. But that's not what, he, what the right wing thinks. Okay, so there are, there are some states in India that you can't slaughter cows. But you can still eat beef coming from other states, right? Uh, this guy... Okay, so I guess we're blaming the victim because the main point of the story was that he was arrested for a Facebook post. And we're too much... Yeah. But I, so we'll get to that. But I just want to point out that his, his when he says we have the right to eat beef, well, yes, you do. There's no laws against eating beef in India. You could... It's nonsense that there's a m mob... You know, the mob might come after you, but there's no government coming after you for eating beef. So yes, you do. So I don't know what you're complaining about. But even if your complaint doesn't make sense, and the uh, the peacock version, I don't know why he mentioned peacocks, but forget. Like we'll get to that later. <laughs> That's so random. But even if your post is nonsense, it's more nonsense that you got arrested for it. What what, what was the charges for him being arrested for? Like what's that? What's he was arrested for making a Facebook fo post on what charges? Well, I think I think that's the problem, and and again, you know, this is something that we also have to take with a grain of salt here, because this is just what's being reported, and we don't know what their motive for reporting this is. Um, I think that right now, with a lot of people being uh, very nervous about the new election and who's in charge, um, that this story very much indicates that you know, because of the new government, um, or you know, because of the existing government right now, uh, they're going to start arresting people who eat beef. You know, I don't know, but that's that's pretty much what's going on here because a diary was filed against Hansda's Facebook post in 2017, investigating the complaint. So this has been ongoing, but he was only arrested yesterday, uh, and he is still in police custody because of this post that he made. But for what? On what? Based on what law? Like that's what I'm trying to like. Okay, when you arrest, when the police comes and arrests you, they mention to you directly right there. You've been, you know the charges and what was the charges do you know 
Mm. They just randomly like, hey, we didn't like your Facebook post, so we're arresting you. Where is Sopam again when we need him? So Let's see. It says that he was booked under sections 153A, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The Indian uh, Penal Code for Insulting Religious Feelings and attempts to promote... Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically it, is that he insulted religious feelings for talking about eating beef. Oh, wait. So when he so I, saying that you have the right to eat beef is now passes as insulting religious feelings in India? Scary, right? Um, what the hell is happening to India? Like, I, it was bad, but it's getting worse, isn't it? Okay, let's see what Sobham is saying. The cow vigilantes don't allow selling beef in those states, so you can hardly find beef there. Yeah, but that's not the but but okay, but that's not the point. The point is that if you can find beef, you have the right to eat it. But forget that. Let's focus on the arrest. Sobham is saying the charges are that he incited religious hatred, with, which which doesn't fall under the freedom of speech in India. Um, so that's that is the law. Like right? you can't. Uh, unfortunately, India does have a law that you can't incite religious hatred, which is nonsense, right? You should. But they're even... saying that there are some regions in India where it is illegal to eat beef. They are. Who's saying that? Uh, His Holiness. Oh, His Holiness saying saying that. Okay, but but is there a law against saying that you should have the right to eat beef? That law doesn't exist, and unless apparently, if you're saying that. Now you're inciting hatred against religion. Just like, hey, I like. How about this? I like beef. Can you like people in India should just go and start posting? I like beef. Saying, seeing if that's religious hatred now. Apparently in India, um, I don't know. But the fact that they even have that law is nonsense. But even after that, what passes as hatred against religion? Unless he posted more than that, did he add anything else to say fuck Hinduism or anything like that, or he just? From what? Yeah. Well, he did say that he wouldn't follow Hinduism. Remember, he's not going to follow Hindu uh, customs. So he said that in his post. And what they keep repeating over and over and over in this is his post. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Okay. That's uh, scary. India, so India is supposed to be one of the most secular countries in the world. And we're losing you, India. Atheist activists in India, you need to do something. Like, step it up. Step it up. Come on, Indian atheists. Do something. This is you're losing your country. This is the world's largest democracy. This is not something small. Like people, it's it's so it's so funny that we talk about India as if like oh but this happened in England. Oh, and also here's another news in India. People sometimes forget that we're talking about one seventh of the entire planet. You know what I mean? Like when something legally changes in India is affecting a high portion of our community. So Indian. Atheist activists, you know, whatever they do and whatever win they make, the impact on that on a global scale is much, much higher than any win that we could make here in Canada or in the uh, in the United States or in the UK. But the, it doesn't get as much attention as it deserves, given the amount of impact on the number of human beings it's making, you know, India, right? So... We need to encourage. We need to support and encourage Indian atheist activists to do something because we're losing. Like we're losing. We're lo atheism and secularism is losing in India, and unfortunately, a lot of so-called Hindu atheists support this nonsense. Subham is saying, "I always post and comment about loving beef. My state allow uh, allows it, though even Hindus eat beef here." Subham. Oh, his yeah. Holiness made a correction. It's in some places in India, it's illegal to sell beef. Okay, so you can sell eat beef. There's nowhere. Can people? Can you correct us? Is there anywhere in India where you can? It's illegal to eat beef because I don't think that's the case, right? So I think just selling or beef or slaughtering cows that's illegal, but eating it is not illegal. But apparently, eating it now can be an insult to religious sentiment. Or just saying that you just want to eat it apparently yeah. is uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Hi, so Parm is saying, by the way, Hindus love to talk about Indian culture, but, um, what? Adi, Adivasis? Is that right? Am I reading that right, Ellie? Are the Aboriginal tribes in India who have been here since before the Aryans arrived and created Hinduism? Ah, uh, that's too much. So Parm, you're getting too much detail now. You're too technical. Um, but you're awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. We need you here. Don't always, So Parm, always show up on our live chats because we're covering more Indian news and we need your insight on this. You're, you're one of those Hindu, 
you know, former ex Hindu atheist that doesn't make excuses for this nonsense. So we need your commentary on this. Uh, Nish had to say you can eat human beings also because you have rights, freedom, and rationality. What? Oh, this is. Look at this. Every time we post about, we get more triggered, sensitive snowflake Hindus than Muslims. Okay, I'm commenting. Like when we talk, with, when we talk shit about Islam. We don't get as much triggered Muslims commenting as we get Hindus and even atheists, so-called atheist Hindus. This is this is how sensitive you guys are. OK, um, so Nisha is saying like, oh, you have the right to eat. I don't know what this it's, it's a, a, this attack on this. I don't understand your analogy, but um, it doesn't make any sense. Patrick is saying good meat is immoral. That's not the point, Patrick. That's not the point, okay? This is not a vegan argument, okay? This is not an argument about animal rights. This is our, this guy was arrested for a Facebook post, okay? So, are, okay, so Patrick, your veganism, you're such a vegan that you think that somebody should ar be arrested for posting and saying that I want to eat beef? Do you think that is worthy of somebody being arrested, Patrick? That's how extreme your veganism has taken you? Um, Appy is saying only cow meat is banned, not uh, not the bull ox meat. Okay, India is one of the leading exporters of beef. Yeah, that's very bizarre. India, did you know that, Ellie? India is one of the leading exporters of beef and leather. Yeah, that's from amazing. Cows. Yeah, such an uh, uh, without this industry, probably I knew that from my vegan activist days. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're a former <laughs> vegan activist, right? Yeah. Um, okay, let me see. There's so many comments coming on YouTube as well. Um, so, so Pam is saying I don't believe it's illegal to eat beef anywhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, another person that I can't pronounce their name is saying in India beef means buffalo meat. Okay, GV is saying on the day of the election results, somebody hacked into the Bay GP website and posted beef recipes. Is that true? Um, somebody can somebody please verify that. So Pam is saying I love the AR podcast. So yeah, I will join the live chat every week. Oh, thank you, So Pam. We really do need you. Uh, Me too. We don't have yeah. We need your. So Pam is also saying largest exporter of beef, followed by Brazil and Australia and Australia. I think you're saying Australia there. Yeah, okay. All right. That was our. Let me actually see. John Brown is saying having John Brown is saying having an opinion is not a valid reason for being arrested. Yeah. Thank you, John Brown. That's this seems pretty obvious, right? Seems like it has to go without saying, but apparently the world's largest democracy doesn't think so. So, by the way, a lot of people think a lot of people in India think that we're being anti. Uh, Hindu racists when we talk shit about Hinduism and Indian politics, but that's nonsense. There's um, b bullshit, right? If you think that's big, if we don't talk about the nonsense that is happening in your country, that's that's actually the bigotry of lower expectations because you know to 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 criticize other religious nonsense and not yours, that would be a double standard. In fact. If anything, there are many Indian atheist activists and secularists that, is, that are fighting against this nonsense in India. And the atheists in India that are making excuses for this just because they want the image of their country to look better uh, in, uh, to the rest of the planet. You're not doing your country any service. The fact that the image of your country matters more, more to you than, what, than, than secularism in your own country. It shows that how how fucked up could nationalism can be and how it could mess up with people's priorities and how you are actually part of the problem and you are not you you might be helping your country's image which you're actually not because it's actually very embarrassing when you have sensitive you guys are every time we talk about india but even if you are defending your country's image you're actually hurting it more by holding your country's back and keeping it keeping it into the same bar barbaric backward, uh, you know, centuries that uh, Christianity and Islam want to want to keep the countries that they dominate. So yeah, you could go, you know, keep complaining. Uh, on our, I know we have lost a lot of fans, atheist 
atheists from India that love apparently have this emotional uh, tie to Hinduism and keep making excuses for Hinduism and I know your comments like oh we don't behead people well congratulations for that here's a medal again for not beheading people oh Hinduism is a religion it's not like Abrahamic religions Hinduism is tolerates atheism well fuck that I don't care that it tolerates Hinduism it's still nonsense it's still bullshit it still needs to die Okay, if, if somebody believes in leprechaun and they come and say like, hey, my belief in leprechaun is tolerant of atheists, that, that that's not really an endorsement of believing in leprechauns. It's still nonsense to believe in leprechauns. So if you, if you every time, it is early every time we attack an uh, Hinduism. So there's one that one guy that says like, oh, atheists criticizing, uh, criticizing Hinduism. Don't they know how tolerant Hinduism is of atheism? Right. We and don't give a shit. Okay, that's that doesn't get you a win with us. Okay, your religion is bullshit. It's nonsense. It's barbaric. It needs to die, whether it's to tolerant of atheists or not. Uh, GV is saying, do you send stories to Atheist Republic? Uh, oh yeah. By the way, we have a new way. By the way, I, I saw that we have a we have Shannon in the live chat. Shannon was in the live chat. By the way, Shannon, do you want to be a um, admin on our live chat because you would be a good admin? I just want to mention uh, something. If the best way, the best way to get something covered on Atheist Republic, because we keep missing the th your suggestions, this is the foolproof way for you to. Um, for you to get something on, uh, covered on our podcast, on our YouTube, and our Facebook page. There's a Facebook group called Atheist Republic Video Reports, okay? If you go to that Facebook group, if you record yourself talking about something, your opinion, as long as the audio quality is good, as long as there's no music that could get us copyright strikes, as long as you don't say something that could get us a YouTube strike, or like if you, you could have, you know, edgy views as well that we disagree with, we'll post that. Uh, but not something as extreme that YouTube would be like, yep, yeah, nope, uh, let's just get rid of this channel, okay? So don't make it too edgy, but you could just uh, take your phone, record yourself, t you know, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes talking about your opinion about something. If you're an atheist or a Hindu in India, for example, you could, you want to, you know, counter everything that we said, disagree with us, just record yourself in a video, post it in that group, and we'll publish it. Uh, on our YouTube channel, on our podcast, and on our Facebook page. That's the group. If you if you really want to get, if there's somebody, there are so many people, for example, that need help, need attention. People are, you know, you know, refugees. People that are in danger. We get shit ton of emails. We miss a lot of them. If it's if you unfortunately, if you, yeah. So if you really want to bring attention to something, just talk about it to your phone. You know, just record yourself, record yourself talking to, uh, on, on a phone and just post it. You could just do all of this on your phone. Post it in that group. We'll get it on our YouTube page. Okay. That's how you could, uh, you could get a story or an opinion on Atheist Republic. Again, the Facebook group's name is Atheist Republic Video Reports. Just search for that on Facebook and join that and post it there. Okay. Um, another godless atheist is saying you need a live call in show. Just saying. Uh, well, we, we, yeah, okay, well, we can do that. Uh, Dorna, well, we have to find out how to do that, uh, the technical aspects of it before. before yeah. Uh, Dorna is saying live call and show, just think of all the wonderful, uh, accents we might hear. Actually, well, we kind of do that already, but not live. Like we, another way, if you don't want to send us a video, but you just want to send us an audio, to for it to get on our podcast there's there's another option for that is to go on atheistrepublic.com there's a green green button on the home page there you can press that you can record your video when it asks for your name and email if you want to keep it anonymous you don't it says optional you don't have to give your name and email and you can send us the audio there and that will make it on our podcast as well so don't tell us that we're not paying attention to the, your emails or to the stories that you want us covered because we have given you these are the ways for your opinions and your videos or any story that you want to get more attention. This, these are the ways. These will not get ignored. And if it does get ignored, it's because we couldn't hear what you were saying uh, or the audio quality is shit or your, your comment is so edgy that 
we will we will lose our Facebook page if we post it. GV right. is saying video report. Yeah, Atheist Republic video report. GV, thank you for posting that right there. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.